Hello everyone. Welcome back in today's tutorial on data modeling. In today's tutorial, we are going to see what are the key concepts which are used or we should know as a data modeler. As we know, whenever we start developing any application, the most important part is data modeling. So that is the just a starting point for the development of the database site components. So whenever you do any data modeling, we should aware about the basic concept. I'm assuming that you are aware about the, the basic concepts such as entity, relationships, and other relevant attributes. In today's session, it is just for you to give the high level details about the data modeling. We are going to see what type of data models are available and what are its usage and in detail conceptual knowledge about each data model. So let's start today's session. So this is just basic definition of data modeling. The data model is collection of conceptual tools for describing data, data relationships, data semantics, and consistency constraints. So no one is going to ask you the data modeling, but if you understand this data modeling definition itself, it will give you clear idea. The data modeling nothing but it is conceptual, a construction of a conceptual a model. So which is going to describe you the data, means in order to describe data, we have to incorporate some components in the model. Then not only the data, the how the data is related with each other, that is also important in the data model. Along with that, if you combine the data with and its a relationship, how the semantic of it, it is going to work means how the overall look will be there of that your data model, what you are going to achieve with that. And of course, the constraints, consistency of the constraints. So suppose if you have the primary foreign key relationship, how you define that constraints. When you design any data model, do not use the more technical term like as I mentioned like technical terms means like primary key foreign key which is not will be uh, which will not be understood by the business folks and which are the uh, which are the more important people while designing the data model so of course we are going to have the more look on that but stick towards the business terms in this data modeling concept what are the different types of data model Basically, there are three types of data model. First is conceptual, second is logical, and third is physical. Conceptual, nothing but what the system contains. So if the conceptual data model answers to the question, what the system contains. Then the next is logical data model, which describes how the system will be implemented regardless of DBMS. Suppose you are using different type of database, then your logical data model will always work on each type of data database. It is not, it is not just bound to any DBMS. Then the physical data model, it describes how the system will be implemented using DBMS. Particularly logical and conceptual also work on the hand in hand. So if you can say how it is implemented or instead of what the system will contain, for the logical also that will also work this is the important slide uh, i would like to share with all of you who is doing what so what is the role of each user in the business with respect to this data models so if you see there are four database data models it's not database model but these are the for the business also they have the business modeling so i have incorporated that as well so first from the downs from the down to up if you see we have the physical data model conceptual data model object oriented modeling and then business process modeling <coughs> you might listen this term bpm oom cdm pdm so those are the short forms and which are very common in the business bpm is nothing but business process modeling OOM nothing but the object oriented modeling, CDM and PDM are nothing but conceptual data modeling and physical data modeling respectively. 
So what are the uses of BPM? The BPM that is business process modeling, the target audience will be end user, IT partners and business analysts. So if you see there is no technical folks involved in that. What is the usage of that, this BPM? BPM is used to improve the process efficiency which actually defines the or the document the business processes. Means how the business flow, flow will be going to work so that is defined in the BPM. It, it create correct and complete application requirements. So this is a, just overview guidelines and process flow definitions for the all the users. The next come is object oriented modeling that is OOM which is normally used or written in the UML that is unified modeling language. What are the target audience for that? This OOM is used by the system architect, system analyst and application developer. So uh, my personal opinion currently in the market very few OEM like application side they definitely use but system side I'm not sure how efficiently they are using the market. What is the usage of the OEM? It supports all UML diagrams. You might have created the UML diagram for your code flow. So how the how the calls is going to do like what is the start of the call how the internal calls will be working so that that might have represented using UML diagram and it is used by the analyze as per the analysis of the requirement and design of the application reverse and forward engineering code so that is also use this OML OM next is CDM the target audience for the conceptual data modeling are business analyst, data architect, and data analyst. So now we are going to do the downs, like the back end side. So if you see the OM is like like your application developer, but the CDM conceptual data modeling is more to the database developer and database architect. What is the usage of CDM? It identifies all the data components. What what actually the data will be? what will be the relation between the data yeah that is entity relationship diagram will be the output of this db database independent view so you can use this cdm across any database it also defines the business rules also means what are the business requirement as per the business requirement the flow or the data model will be designed the next come the physical data model which is more granular any of this the target audience for the PDM that is physical data modeling is database administrator that is DBA, DB developer and DB architect. So all the major or the actual developers will be using the physical data model. Physical data model con contains data specific model which contains the data as well as relationship and what is the size, what will be the data type, all the granular components will be mentioned in the physical data model. It is used for the reverse engineering also based on the existing database. We can create update data database model from this model also. Means we can create tables, we can update the tables based on this model also. It is also used for the data, ware, data warehouse modeling also. So these are the uh, type of model. If you are going to do the reverse engineering, means from the physical data model you are going to develop conceptual, conceptual to OAM, OM to business process modeling. That is also possible. Or if you have to define the BPM, that is business process modeling, then you can create o OAM or from that you can create conceptual data modeling or from that you can create the physical data modeling. I hope you got the big picture of this data modeling, how it happens in the real time. Let's have a like, uh, little granular look on the conceptual data modeling and the physical data modeling. First is conceptual data modeling. Gather the data requirements from the business function based on the analysis. Whenever you do the project kickoff, what is the project kickoff is nothing but the start of the project. The first thing will come is nothing but the requirement gathering. And in the requirement gathering, you will be gathering the what kind of data you are going to manage in your system. So first you will get the what is the data. Think what means what will be the cash question you will be asking. What data necessary to the business function. 
it's all about the business do not impose information system so whenever you create a conceptual data model model do not impose any technical terms no such business thing like table keys indexes foreign key primary key etc probably best done by the business analyst in sig with bpm as now for now you can understand bpm nothing nothing but the business processing modeling and the conceptual data model normally done by the business analyst of course they have to interact with the bpm in some cases data modeler can bridge the business and business and the it gap so data modeler it can be a business analyst or the data architect will be working together to find out the gap between the business and the it so that will be represented in the conceptual data model sometimes it is also called as a logical data model the conceptual and the logical are quite similar they work hand in hand but logical have little granular data compared to the conceptual data model next is physical data model it translate logical model into implementation plan for the database suppose you have defined the two components in the conceptual data model one is part and second is address you define the components such as for the party of the first name last name and for the address of the address line one city and the state when you create a physical data model of course you will keep the same model but you will define the granularity means what will the length and the data type for the first name last name what will be the primary key for that what will be the foreign key for that model what will the relationship of course relationship will be there in the logical data model but you will define more granularity in the physical data model so that nothing but the translating the logical data model into the implementation plan here the question you are going to ask or you will be answering after completion of this physical data model is how you are going to implement the data model it's all about the target database or the other technology being adopted so based on the target database on which you are going to implement it ha has an impact on this physical data model the physical data model will change as the technology changes underlying technology changes now it's the time to think about the table keys indexes relationships in detail relationship primary key foreign key etc probably best done by the data architect data modeler and the dbas so one of the person from that group can create this physical data model so that's it uh, i wanted to show you the slides uh, what is the physical conceptual data model because those terms normally used while creation of the data model in any other data modeling tool i hope this tutorial definitely help you to enhance your knowledge about the data modeling if you have any questions or queries you can definitely mention the comment section of this video thank you for watching my video and have a nice time